beautiful hey welcome back to my channel um a great great question that i always get and i think it's so relevant i try to tr touch on it in every video is what type of guy to avoid okay the real answer is all of them <laughs> like all of them are the right ones to avoid uh for real for real but for real okay okay i'm gonna be serious so the right the guys that you really want to avoid like off rip are the ones that are like super flashy um i don't even know i guess people are still talking to these types of guys or whatever but those guys have so much debt. They come with so many problems. They have no money, like no success. They're just, they basically clear their savings account just to pay for a VIP table at a club. That is not somebody you want to date. Um, another type of person that you want to avoid dating are the super nerdy, um, guys that are always kind of pushing their smarts in your face or kind of trying to one-up you like in a condescending way you definitely want to avoid those types because it's only going to get more and more annoying over time and it's really disrespectful i personally i don't really go for those types that are like super nerdy because first of all i feel like anybody who is uh, who has to perform um, intelligent and uh, perform being smart. Like, it's clearly so you can cover up some other insecurities that you have. And that's just always the vibe that I get from those types of guys is that they're trying to cover up some other insecurity or some other area that they're lacking. And I'm usually right about those things. So, like... <laughs> I don't like the performative, like, smart types because it's, like, it's always something they're hiding. Also, the other types of guys you want to avoid are the ones who don't really give you any information about themselves. Like, they don't, you don't know where they live. You don't know, like, anything about their past, their history. Like, they're always just trying to avoid the conversation because I'm telling you, you will try to, you will date those guys and then look up, like, a year from then and then find out they have, like, four different children in like three different states and all types of old back debt and all types of stuff. You just want to avoid those types of guys. They are like, it's like a disaster waiting to happen, you know? And some people even get married to these types of guys because I think a lot of people believe that if men are quiet, then they are manly or mysterious but some people really got some stuff to hide. That's why they're so quiet. That's why they are so quiet. They got some stuff to hide. And, or they trying to scam you. I'm telling you. So many guys will really be on a date to scout who they can scam. You know, that's why I recommend lying to men. Don't be telling them how much you make. Don't be telling them how much your apartment is or your house and your mortgage is. Don't even tell them that you own a house if you own a house. Tell them that your parents are paying for it or you got housemates, like, and the owner does lives out of state or something. Don't be telling them that because a lot of these guys are looking and scouting for somebody to scam, move in on, or anything. So, yeah, quietness is not always a good deal. It's not always a good deal because you don't know what you're getting into. Um, another type of guy to avoid um, are the ones that want too much information up front again the type to try to scam you you know guys that's always poking at your past oh so what happened with your last one what happened with your ex do you feel like this will affect our future together and stuff it's like dude you a whole different person it's a whole new day like you need to focus on the here and the now you know like i don't even know you like that i don't even know you like that and that's how you need to approach them like um you know, I don't think any of that stuff is relevant to, to now. So, I don't know why you're asking me that stuff. Because, for real, those are those guys, they're like the 
frenemies for real because those guys are like the guys are just like those friends that like try to gather information about you and stuff about your past so they can kind of throw it back at you later like oh yeah but remember when uh remember when you let this guy do this or something like they'll try to do something weird like that got those guys they're like the frenemy boyfriends like they will throw that back in your face later like oh yeah um that's why you don't have a great relationship with your mother you know like you don't want to those guys absolutely die like you do not want to be telling those guys all of your information because i'm telling you those are the ones that will end up making you want to like for real call them out in the street and fight them because those are the cattiest guys the ones that are always always fishing for information are super super catty like oh my god i do not i cannot do a catty man like and a lot of men are catty to me but those types are extremely catty like i just cannot i cannot so like i will pull you out into the street i cannot okay like so those are the types of men that you want to avoid like i think it's uh safe to say that if you run into these types of guys on the first date make that your last date make that the last time you really keep in contact with them because honestly these are some guys that you will run into some serious serious problems with the types of guys you do want to date are the ones that um allow you to be open without grabbing it out of you not asking a bunch of weird questions about a lot of personal information like it's just very normal flowing conversation it's not like them like you feel like you have to search deep for answers to your questions on the first date if you feel like somebody's asking you questions on the first date where well, you have to search deeply for the answers and stuff they're asking things that don't have anything to do with them and it's kind of time to like pull back and be like wow you're deep into my business right now <laughs> like who are you dr phil are you dr phil are you oprah that's what you need to do that's what you need to do to end that conversation right there. Because honestly, some guys, they really are catty and weird and trying to scam you. And I work with hundreds of women all over the world internationally. And I haven't had any situations where anything happened to any of my ladies. And it's because I have all of these filters for them to read through and follow. And like making sure that these people are safe. For them to go out with because i ain't got time to be worried about my girls in germany while i'm trying to have a night out over here or something like i don't have time like i want my girls to be safe everybody need to be safe um and run these filters and make sure you, they're checking this list off of these things that i'm telling you so that you don't get caught up in a situation where this where you get stuck with one of these types of men that i just named so yeah, that's all for this video about what types of guys to avoid. And I will see you beauties next time. I love you guys.